Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is sperm agglutination and how does it cause male infertility? Sperm agglutination is a condition in which sperm cells clump together either within the reproductive system or in the ejaculated semen. It is one of the factors that can affect male fertility. Let's look at the causes, symptoms and treatment of sperm agglutination in detail. When we talk about causes, infections rank top. Bacterial or violent infections in male reproductive tract can trigger an immune response. The body may produce antibodies against sperm causing them to clump together. Then there are autoimmune disorders. In some cases, body's immune system mistakenly recognizes sperm as foreign invaders and produces antibodies against them, which lead to agglutination. Inflammatory conditions in the male reproductive organs such as epididymitis or prostatitis can lead to sperm agglutination. There are some genetic factors also responsible for this. Some individuals may have genetic predispositions that make their sperm more likely to agglutinate. Certain medications and chemical exposures can also cause agglutination, such as those used in cancer treatment. They can affect sperm motility and lead to agglutination. Exposure to environmental toxins or chemicals can also play a role. So what are the symptoms? Sperm agglutination often presents without noticeable symptoms in men. It is typically discovered during a semen analysis or fertility evaluation. However, there might be some symptoms sometimes. Reduced fertility. Sperm agglutination can impair sperm motility, making it more difficult for sperm to reach and fertilize the egg. There can be elevated white blood cell count in the semen sample. In cases related to infections or inflammation, an increased number of white blood cells may be present in the semen. So what are the treatment options? The treatment of sperm agglutination depends on its underlying cause. Let's look at some approaches. If an infection is the cause of sperm agglutination, antibiotics may be prescribed to treat the infection. This can help reduce the immune response and alleviate agglutination. In cases of inflammation, anti-inflammatory drugs may be recommended to reduce inflammation in the male reproductive organs. And in situations where autoimmune disorders are the culprit, immunosuppressive therapy may be considered to suppress the immune response against sperm. Then we also have assisted reproductive technologies. In cases where sperm agglutination cannot be effectively treated or if it persists despite treatment, then couples may explore assisted reproductive techniques such as uh, intrauterine insemination or in vitro fertilization. These techniques bypass natural barriers and facilitate fertilization. Adopting a healthy lifestyle including avoiding environmental toxins may also help. Maintaining a balanced diet and reducing stress can definitely improve overall sperm health. It's very important to consult with a urologist or a reproductive specialist if sperm agglutination is suspected or diagnosed. A comprehensive evaluation can help determine the underlying cause and guide appropriate treatment options. Couples should consider seeking fertility counseling and support to navigate the emotional aspects of fertility challenges and explore suitable fertility treatment options if needed. If you wish to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.